Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in Bilvavi Mishkan Evna, describing why it is that we don't have this awareness of Kirvas Elohim. The same thing is true in our closeness to Hashem. The common many Kirvas and the different types of ways that we can get close. We explain. Man truly is close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in place. But since that a person doesn't see HaKadosh Baruch Hu right next to him, HaKadosh Baruch Hu told to Moshe Rabbeinu, nobody can see me and live. So even though that Hashem is sitting right here with us, or standing right here with us, He's next to you in your car right this moment, but we don't see Him. And therefore, a person doesn't feel, and they're not aware, that how close they are to the Bari Olam, to the Creator of the Universe. He also, he knows, HaKadosh Baruch is my Abba, Abba, he's my, he's my Father in Heaven. But he doesn't feel it so strong in his heart. He knows it intellectually. He knows it superficially. But to feel it in his heart constantly, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is my Abba, Avinu Sheba Shemayim, that a person is lacking. He knows that Hashem is his friend. But once again, he doesn't really feel it in his heart. And he gives a mashal over here, a parable. If a person would, would think for many, many years that his father had disappeared and his father was no longer around, maybe he thought that his father died, and now they come and they tell this. They, they come and they tell no. They they, they tell and tell this person that his father, who he thought was dead, is now suddenly alive. And now they tell him, guess what? Your father's really alive. Imagine a story: a father and a son go to Auschwitz, Rachman al and at one point he sees his father heading off into the gas chambers. And he assumes, as everybody else would assume, if you would see somebody going into the gas chambers and you never see them again, he must have gone to his, met his death in the gas chambers. And the son miraculously survives Auschwitz. And he, he leaves the DP camps and he travels to Eretz Yisrael and he begins a new life for himself, always knowing that he's an orphan. He lost his father and his mother. He lost everybody in the Holocaust. And for the last, last 30 years of his life, he looks at himself as an orphan, no father, no mother, nothing. One day, they come to him and they tell him, Guess what? Your father really is alive. A miracle happened in the gas chambers. And he was able to escape and he ran into the woods and he survived the art of war. And he finally made it to Eretz Israel and he's been looking for you for 10 years and he finally found you. You don't understand. Ubiyadalira says, Avi, when you can come and see your father. His whole heart will be filled with joy. He can see his father again and recognize his father. It's the greatest simch in his life. And then he realizes this that he thought he didn't have a father. All of that was just a mistake. His father was really alive. Says the Bilvavi Mishkan Evna, this is the quandary that we are caught in in the world of Avedis Hashem, trying to define the reality of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and how close He is to us, in order that we should be able to fulfill this great feat of Kirvas Elohim Litoiva being close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the ultimate good. We have a lot to work on, and yet Hashem will grow closer and closer to Hashem every day. Have a wonderful day.